The song we got on Shuffle today was Sawzall by Banks. I don't know why it's titled that, but um, I'm going to read the lyrics because mm, significant. Uh, also very pretty song. I love her. So it says, I go over every word you, say to, you said to me, every single syllable I could repeat, certified to scuba dive in my memories. Why didn't you tell me how you felt that day? How was I supposed to know? I can't mind read. How was I supposed to see it was underneath? Caught you singing from the ceiling. I thought that meant you were healing. Looking back, I see the meeting. I didn't notice the teething. Why didn't you say you need me? Why don't you say what you mean? Um, so... You could be like going in your head over and over again a lot about a situation or maybe somebody is about you but there is this like I mean Virgo overthinking never um so you could be like reliving a situation over and over again um I don't know Virgo let's see let's see what we got going on here um somebody could be doing the same for you somebody could be wondering why you never communicated your feelings to them. I don't know, but somebody's really thinking about you. But I think you're also really thinking about somebody. All right, so let's see. Grieve your losses. Uh, tune out distractions. So you could be like not wanting to let go of this situation because it, 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 it's a nice distraction. It's a nice distraction of your thoughts. Like you. Like we love to torture ourselves as Virgos and just relive things and like analyze it a million different ways and analyze absolutely everything. It's like living in a torture chamber. Um, but it's in reality just our inability to let go of a situation, you know? So there might be something else you need to be focused on right now. Refine your attention. Okay weird that I'm saying there's something else you need to focus on right now um set that aside it'll be there to pick up tomorrow in a week just like set set whatever you're overthinking aside um for now and focus on something else um bottom of the deck we've got the wheel of fortune so I feel like why they want you to set this aside is because there is change that is coming in um, there's a lot of change happening in your reality very soon that you might not even have time to be thinking about this stuff. There's some kind of movement forward that's about to happen. Some kind of cataclysmic lucky event happening for you. Uh, let's see what that is. Overall energy between you and another person. We got the nine of swords. Okay. Okay. We've got fast communication coming in. This could be... There's something, I, I'm, I'm hearing like really work hard at letting go of these past situations or letting go of like this past thing because something is coming in very quickly, very soon. Um, this could be anywhere from like, this is some kind of good news. I feel like with that Wheel of Fortune and then the Knight of Swords, there's some kind of good news coming in. Tell me a little bit more about this. Oh, what is the clarifier for this Knight of Swords? What is this clarifier for the Knight of Swords? Six of Swords in reverse. So, a situation that you might have moved on from might be coming back around. But take what I'm saying with a grain of salt. Because I know I just said you have to let go of this past situation. Um... I just posted on Instagram today about like, you know, waiting or um, patience isn't about waiting. It's about knowing the outcome. So you're constantly in that state of preparation. It says uh, you're acting like methodically or acting out of preparedness. You're being mindful of every single thing you're doing because you're preparing. You're not waiting, you're preparing. So uh, instead of like sitting and waiting and thinking and reliving this past situation, there's nothing you can do to change it. Something is on its way back to you. 
And when I say on its way back to you, I mean either this could be somebody from this lifetime who's on their way back to you, this could be an opportunity that's on its way back to you, this could be somebody from another lifetime that is on their way back to you. But something is coming back to you. I like to call it my boomerang effect. Eight of swords. I keep getting this in like the energy as well. It's like there's this decision coming in that I think that you're gonna have to make really quickly, but you're not gonna know what to choose. You're not gonna know what to choose. <sighs> the moon card and the king of pentacles. So the moon card speaks on illusions. The moon card speaks on, you know, those deep, dark depths. I think there's some, you're not seeing the big picture. You're not seeing the big picture because you're stuck in this reality that you've, you're reliving. You're not seeing the big picture. Eight of Swords. Why is this Eight of Swords here? The Empress in reverse. Mm. Mm hmm. So this Eight of Swords, this is about being mentally stuck. You know, this is about being mentally stuck. And the Queen, uh, the Empress in reverse to me is kind of like you're needing to get in touch with that nurturing energy nurturing yourself focusing your attention on yourself versus on this situation like i think there's something you're needing to um bring to life that you're you're distracting yourself from by kind of thinking of this past situation uh and to be honest with you you are not you, like there's something here spirit's just telling me like you don't even see what's coming you don't even see what's coming. So it's like in in a few weeks, because I do see that this is something that could happen during within Libra season. In a few weeks, there's something happening that is going to be, you're going to need to be mentally present for it. You're going to need to be mentally present for it um, because you're going to need to make a decision. And if you are too focused on the past, you might not make the dis like you might not be able to because you might be still waiting on this past situation and here's this golden opportunity right in front of you let's see what's this king of pentacles doing here i would say maybe it's the king of pentacles coming towards you but as soon as i said that it's like you don't see the big picture <laughs> you don't see the big picture you're there's still illusion that needs to be cleared there with the moon card um what is this king of pentacles doing here what is this king of pentacles doing here the nine of swords in reverse the nine of swords in reverse this is about letting go kind of standing in your stable power this is the overthinking somebody i said somebody's been overthinking about you too and they stopped they've stopped They've stopped their overthinking. Um, it's really funny because every time I want to say something else, they tell me they're like, or the message I keep hearing is like, don't say that. You don't know. You don't know. All right. So look, I'm going to pull another card so that I do know. Okay. Nine of swords in reverse. Why is this nine of swords in reverse for this king of pentacles? Two of cups. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, I think that this person is no longer overthinking the situation. They're feeling it. They're feeling the situation. So you need to get into that feeling, 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 feeling. That's why that Empress is in reverse because you're needing to reconnect with your inner feminine and feel, feel the situation. This person has stopped thinking. They are trusting their feelings now and their feelings, I do believe, this two of cups energy, this is leading them into leading them forward. And this could be somebody, you know, this could be somebody you don't even know yet. Let's see. Let's see the Knight of cups, the seven of cups and the six of cups. Oh, God damn it. Um, oh, that one. I, I do feel like we got the Ace of Pentacles in reverse here. 
I want to say it's like the it's just not the opportunity like you like I already see like you're already making a story um, for what's happening here there is a love offer coming in I just don't know if you it, it's from who you think it is um, and it could be like this past situation this past there's something significant about this past situation that you've been thinking and reliving and we do have obviously the reconciliation card with that six of cups but this could talk about you know reconciling that past situation and this could talk about somebody from a past life coming in um and look i'm not anti that it's a past person coming in but i'm just saying like it, it might not be the past person that you think what is this six of cups doing here temperance card sag energy this person could come around sag season this could be something that um there's a, there's a lot of harmony here the angels are working their own thing they just need you to to do to do some work too because we've got the moves that you're making i feel like um until you tune out distractions they're like not the right moves does that make sense? It's like, until you remove these distractions, until you really learn how to let go, you're making moves, but you're missing the big picture. You're missing the big picture here. So it's like, spirit is constantly communicating with us and they could be sending you messages, but because of your attachment to this past situation, you're not seeing what the messages really mean. You're interpreting them in the way that you want them to be interpreted. So there's like a, an opportunity here that's laid out for you, but until you remove this mental confinement that you're in, you're not going to see the opportunity. And I'm hearing, look, there's the Queen of Swords. Once you cut this out, this comes rushing in, whatever this is, whatever this is. Spirit's even saying like, don't even attach a story to it. Don't even attach a story to it. Let yourself be surprised. Let yourself be happily surprised. Nine of Cups, it will be a wish fulfillment. It will make you very happy. The Three of Cups celebration. Queen of Swords, what's this Queen of Swords doing here? Four of Pentacles, yeah, letting go, finally letting go of something that I think you've been holding on to for a very long time that has kept you energetically closed. If you're too much reliving the past, if you're too much in this past situation, it's, um, you, you gotta let it go. You gotta let it go. I'm hearing four years specifically. Let's see, three of cups. What's this three of cups? Knight of wands. Yeah, you're gonna celebrate when this person comes in for you. Whoever this person may be, because I'm seeing like, this person could be mirroring you in the sense that, you know, I posted something on my Instagram the other day. It was like, when we heal ourselves, we heal others. When we heal others, we heal ourselves. It's like, a, it's a cyclical thing. Um, your person, whether you know them or not, they might be really focused on a past situation as well. And because, you know, how this soulmate twin flame thing, everybody's our mirror. Whoever you're attracting, if you're still hung up on a past situation, if you still haven't released a past situation, if you haven't allowed yourself to disconnect from that, you are, you're going to manifest somebody who is also holding on to a past situation or some kind of thing that mirrors that situation. So maybe you find that you manifest a lot of people who are still hung up on their exes or who still haven't gotten over past situations. But as you heal that within yourself, you're going to start manifesting. And I'm not putting it off the table that you reconnect with somebody who's like, yeah, I still needed to get over a past situation, but I'm over that now. And now I know, I know the reality is that you're my person. You might have the same thing happen to you. But your main thing is you've got to work on 
removing, like you've got to work on, um, I have a friend, he uses the term mental masturbation. Like anytime we overthink, it's like you're, you're mentally masturbating. It's, it's funny. Um, but it's kind of true. And Virgos do that a lot. We love to like think something in every which way. And it's like, to, it's to our advantage in some situations, but in some situations, it's to our detriment. So that's what I'm seeing here for you guys, Virgo. All right, I'm gonna pull two heart to heart messages. Oh, that one flew out. So this person, whoever's coming towards you, there is this urgency to communicate with you, whether that's on a 5D level or whether that's like this person, um, oh my God. There is this urgency to talk to you, but even in me picking that up, that's so significant, right? Um, it's hard for me to open up. Ah, <laughs> cause I was like trying to pick it up off the ground and it wouldn't pick up. So it's like this person's feeling an urgency to talk to you, whoever this person is, but it's so hard for them to do this. It's very hard for them to do this. So all you have to do is like, and this could be that, that, that kind of how the song, like, why didn't you tell me how you felt? Why didn't you, but what parts of you mirror that? What parts of you mirror that? What part of you is not opening up? What part of you is, is not communicating your feelings? What part of you isn't healing, isn't releasing from the past? Because the only reason we find it so hard to open up is because we were hurt in the past. We had a situation in which we opened up and we were rejected. Love as if you've never been heartbroken and open up as if you've never been rejected before. A lot easier said than done, but that's kind of the lesson that needs to be learned here. So um, let's pull one more and then I'm gonna go into the extended. We'll look more into who this person is, pull some archetype cards. We will pull some more messages from this and the unsent messages. We'll look into the sexual tarot and uh, yeah, get some advice for you guys. So give me one more message from this person to Virgo. My mind is full of you. So like I said, you're mirroring this person in the sense that you're both thinking a lot about each other. You're both over analyzing it to the point where it is a detriment. It is a detriment. Nobody's making moves because you've analyzed it in every way. You've exhausted the situation to probably where it's like, you know, you've created all these negative scenarios. So the best thing you can do is release the energy. And then it's like that wall is let down and you, it can come rushing in. So, that is my message for you. I'm gonna leave you with this last one. It says, I miss you. So this could be a past person. Um, just throwing that out there. So if you want to check out the extended, the link is in the description box. I will see you guys there. Bye. Mm -hmm.